Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog, Becoming an Ultra Runner. Um, so, decided I was gonna do a little video about my set that I, I filmed my vlog on, um, because I'm gonna make some changes to it. But first, I wanted to show you what it's currently like. So, I've mentioned already that we're having some work done on the house. So, everything kind of from the kitchen has just been like, put in different places around the house. My room has been the prime place to put stuff. So like, I don't know if you can see that there's like all kitchen appliances everywhere. I've got glasses and I've got metal things. The idea is now I'm just gonna clean all this up and I'm gonna do, uh, make some improvements to my room and to my set. So I've got more race numbers to stick on the wall. I've got this cool new thing to hang medals on. I'll show you that now. I... Here we are, found this when I'm out. The plan is I'm going to use this angle um, to do my filming from now on. I used to have the camera here and I used to sit here on this sofa and I had a, a shot coming across this way. I've got two race numbers to put up on the wall. Um, I'm going to take that off, put it up there, put these two over here somewhere like that. Like I said, I've got this, which I'm going to hang my medals off so I can have medals hanging in the shots. I've had a couple of these things made which are like kind of race um, pictures where it's got like the, the race, the course map and the time. Maybe up there somewhere. And then the next one across kind of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this light across. I'm probably going to have it sat. The tape that I've used is like double-sided tape that you use to stick a rug to wooden floors. So um, on some of them it's got a really nice, like these it's just been perfect, but some, on some of the ones with different material, I'm guessing more papery, um, they've tended to crumple up, I'll show you. So you see along there, it's kind of all gone crumply. I guess you can't really tell when you're all the way back here but it does annoy me a little bit. So like some of them are, are great, like I said, there's nothing there at all. But then you get some of them like this that are all sorts of bobbly. Yes, guys, delivery time. So, what we got? Yes, drone time. Oh, I'm mega excited about this. Yo, what's up, guys? So, it's another day and another pair of shoes. I could not resist. Um, as usual, another pair of hokers. So, gone for the Speed Goat 3s this time. So, here we are. The new Hoka One, One Speed Goat 3s um, in this kind of black and lime green colour which perfectly matches the kit. Um, you know I love to match so uh, so that's it. Yeah I'm really excited about these. From what I've heard they're very very similar to Speed Goat 2's with a, a few minor improvements such as the tongue. <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, what's up guys? It's Thursday, which means a club session tonight. Um, I've got about an hour to kill, so I'm going to get on the bike, and I'm going to warm my legs up. Uh, I'm going to try and get in about 30 minutes a day now, if I can. So it just depends on it just depends on how much free time I've got. Right, let's get going. So it's Thursday, and I'm heading out to do some trail running with the club. Um, that starts at 7, it's just gone 6, so I'm going to go out and get a few miles in. And today I've brought the drone, so um, hopefully some really cool shots of the club. I'm going to try and work out how to do the, all the tracking stuff, so that should be a laugh. Um, anyway, so this is recovery week, and my legs definitely felt stiff Monday, Tuesday. Luckily, the wife was out Tuesday, so I couldn't run anyway. Switched that to a Wednesday, and now, yes, yeah, so I ran 5k last night, 10 ish tonight. Definitely needed it. I think the goal will be maybe 40 45k this week, then back up to 60 or so next week. Next, not this weekend coming up, the weekend after, I'm thinking of doing a back to back run week after that then another big run so that's looking forward to the next two weeks or so all right let's get running <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? So it is Sunday, which means long run day. Um, this week's been a recovery week after quite a hard couple of weeks. Um, so in particular this week I've needed to rest my calves because I'm not sure if it was the mega hill reps the week before or if it was the 40k long run or the strength or maybe just a bit of everything. But early on this week my calves were really stiff. Um, maybe I overdid it a bit, maybe it's just some, uh, some really bad doms, but uh, it started to ease as the week's gone on, and um, so I did two runs earlier in the week, and I skipped yesterday's, knowing that I'd rather rest up yesterday and tack a little bit on today to do kind of a medium length long run, so the plan is about three hours today. Uh, it's half nine. I need to get to my mum's before 1 pm so I can have dinner. Um, so I'm kind of hoping somewhere along the line of 25k if I can. We'll see, see how the time goes. Um, I'm running quite light today. I haven't got anything in the backpack apart from the water and some new nutrition I'm testing. So this is Tailwind. Um, it's been recommended to me by lots and lots of people. Uh, I got 500 mil each side, and I got a pouch in each side, which is, I believe, the single pouches are a double portion. So it's 200 calories, 50 grams of carbs each side. So the plan will be to try and consume one of these per hour, 
Um, not that I need them on the weekend, but it's more a case of just trying them out and seeing if my stomach likes them and if I, if I enjoy the taste, that kind of thing. about an hour in and feeling fine drunk a bottle already so that went down quite well um, on to the second one now and yeah they, they seem pretty good um, now the trick will be to try that on the long run when I'm doing what, six hours or so let's see how well I can survive off that I'll obviously bring other food with me just just in case and then it'll be a decision about whether I want to just run with with tailwind mixed with the water because it seems so simple but then part of me really does like the idea of real food as well so it could be that I'll have half a pouch or one scoop of tailwind per bottle and then have some real food alongside it Again, I will test that on a proper long run. Right, just about to the top of this little climb, so time to get running again. That's me two hours in, and about 18k, so yeah, it's pretty decent actually. I've just had a look at my watch and I've uh, got about 400 meters elevation. Um, the last 45k has been mostly downhill, so um, been a bit speedy back there. Um, I don't know if it's for drinks or if it's the fact that it's a recovery week, so you know. So I've had quite a few days rest and lowered my mileage and intensity, but I'm feeling really good, really, really good. So I'm trying not to overdo it, but my pace is looking a lot quicker than normal. Um, so I've got an hour to be back at my mum's. So there was a junction down there, and I think it's about 15 minutes from there to my mum's house. So. 45 minutes, maybe 20 minutes up, 25 minutes up, and back down, and then back there should be perfect timing. Um, and hopefully, up around that 25k mark, we will see. Anyway, I'm gonna push on with this climb, try and get as much out of it as I can before I have to turn around. Um, tag along next week and you can see me do a back-to-back -back long run. Mm -hmm.